And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie is a classic mystery novel that weaves a suspenseful and intricate tale of a group of strangers lured to a remote island where they find themselves accused of past crimes. Here's a summary of the book in 1,000 words. The story begins with 10 individuals receiving mysterious invitations to Soldier Island, a secluded spot off the coast of Devon, England. The invitations promise an exciting opportunity or job, and the recipients, each with different backgrounds, eagerly accept. The cast of characters includes Vera Claythorne, a former governess, Philip Lombard, a soldier of fortune, Emily Brent, a strict and judgmental spinster, General MacArthur, a retired military man, Dr. Armstrong, a physician, Anthony Marston, a reckless and wealthy youth, Judge Wargrave, a retired judge, Mr. Bloor, a former detective, Mr. Rogers, a butler, and Mrs. Rogers, a cook. Upon their arrival at Soldier Island, the guests are surprised to find that their hosts are absent. As they settle in, a gramophone recording accuses each person of being responsible for someone's death in the past, crimes that have gone unpunished by the law. The shock and confusion among the guests intensify when they realize that there is no one else on the island, and they are seemingly trapped. As the characters grapple with the accusations and the eerie atmosphere, a nursery rhyme titled Ten Little Soldiers hangs in each guest's room, detailing the methodical demise of ten individuals. The rhyme becomes a haunting foreshadowing of the unfolding events on the island. One by one, the guests begin to die according to the verses of the nursery rhyme, and the tension mounts. The deaths are presented in a manner that mirrors the poem's verses. Anthony Marston dies after drinking poisoned whiskey. Emily Brent succumbs to a lethal injection. General MacArthur is found dead from a blow to the head. And Mr. Rogers meets his end from an overdose of sleeping pills. The characters become increasingly paranoid as they realize that the murderer is among them. The survivors attempt to uncover the identity of the killer, but trust disintegrates, and suspicion runs high. Dr. Armstrong is accused of causing the death of Mrs. Rogers by administering the fatal dose of sleeping pills, further fueling the atmosphere of distrust. Meanwhile, a storm isolates the island, cutting off any chance of escape or communication with the outside world. The deaths continue, with Justice Wargrave orchestrating the murders while posing as a fellow victim. Mr. Bloor is killed by a falling clock, and Dr. Armstrong meets his demise through a carefully planned overdose. The remaining three, Vera Claythorne, Philip Lombard, and Judge Wargrave, are left to confront the chilling reality that the murderer is among them. Vera and Lombard, desperate to survive, become increasingly paranoid and mistrustful of each other. Judge Wargrave, who reveals himself as the mastermind behind the plot, orchestrates a final twist. He fakes his own death and stages a dramatic suicide to throw off suspicion. With only Vera and Lombard left, Wargrave reveals his elaborate plan to bring justice to those who had escaped the consequences of their crimes. Wargrave explains how each murder was designed to mirror the deaths of the character's supposed victims, framing the deaths as poetic justice. He reveals his obsession with achieving the perfect crime and his belief in the righteousness of his actions. The twist is that Wargrave himself is terminally ill and plans to end his own life, leaving a letter confessing to his crimes. Vera, driven to madness by the relentless guilt and fear, succumbs to the illusions orchestrated by Wargrave. She hangs herself in a final act of desperation, completing the grim prophecy of the nursery rhyme. Philip Lombard, the last remaining survivor, discovers the truth too late and is left alone on the island. The story concludes with the revelation that the authorities find Lombard's dead body and Wargrave's letter. 
Wargrave's elaborate plan succeeds in delivering his version of justice, and the mystery of the seemingly unsolvable murders is unveiled. The novel leaves readers with a chilling sense of the consequences of guilt, justice, and the thin line between right and wrong. And Then There Were None is a masterpiece of mystery and suspense, showcasing Agatha Christie's skill in crafting intricate plots and psychological tension. The novel explores themes of guilt, retribution, and the consequences of one's actions, all set against the backdrop of a gripping and isolated setting. The character's moral dilemmas and the gradual revelation of the murderer's identity contribute to the enduring popularity of this classic whodunit.